Uh, I almost, a uh, frog to me is, uh, it's something like you gotta have, yeah, it's, um, it's something that's a necessary bait, like a spinner bait, a crank bait. Uh, there's always a frog rig in my boat. That's something that uh, fishing elite series is never know when it's gonna pop up. Get it? Pop up? <laughs> it's funny. But uh, yeah, I throw toads and frogs a lot. Um, buzz baits. I throw everything. But but to me, a frog is uh, up there as important as a spinner bait or crank bait. Yes, very important. And when you're throwing a frog, do you have a good like one-two punch, something they have for like a backup. You like if you get a blow up on a frog and you miss it, you have a bait that you follow that up It depends where you're fishing, yeah. If you're fishing like thick, heavy vegetation, a lot of times I'll fish a pump rig with like a three quarter, one ounce, depending on how thick it is. And uh, if I'm fishing more open water, you know, a Senko or a Wacky Worm's really, really good, or even just a Texas rig. But you should always have uh, some kind of follow up bait. Because it's really hard to get a fish to eat a frog twice, uh, unless they're spawning or. But most of the time, when, you know, it's not, they're not always spawning. You know, the frogs definitely work just all year long. And, and you don't always get them, but you might catch one. You know, sometimes you might get half the ones that blow up in your frog and you miss, or you might, sometimes you might get one out of ten, you know, might, but still that one out of ten is worth kind of taking a chance to catch it. So definitely have a follow-up bait.